As the cleanup from the Memorial Day weekend tornadoes continues, groundskeepers at a cemetery in Benton County are frustrated with the lack of debris cleanup trucks in their area, so they decided to get their own hands dirty. Fox 24's Kylie Neal talked with a local nonprofit about what's next for Benton County cemetery cleanup. Memorial Park Cemetery and Rogers had extensive damage from the most recent Memorial Day weekend tornado. A cemetery groundskeeper, Silas General, got his hands dirty with his co-worker to ensure families could visit their families safely. Well, we got to load it up. We're piling in the field right now and burning what we can. Silas General was working with his co-worker, Marlon Johnson, cutting up tree limbs to be taken to the burn pile. Johnson has worked at Memorial Park Cemetery for the past 20 years. He says he has never seen a storm do this much damage. We're burning right now. And we got a pile back there, too. We have to burn yet. Plenty of hard work here for just two of us. Not only are the groundskeepers working hard, but Benton County is organizing a local nonprofit to dig in with them. Bill Caulfield works for the Benton County Cemetery Preservation Society. He says that he has taken a lot of vegetative debris to dump sites in the past few weeks. You go out to the to the uh, the county fairgrounds, that's the major dump site. You will not believe the amount of debris that is out there. Caulfield also says he has been involved with many devastating storms and that the county has done a great job with rapid debris removal. So they were on this, you know, in, in week one. It's just, uh, and that's that's really the only way that you can tackle it in any, any close time frame is to bring in extra resources. Caulfield says that the Memorial Park Cemetery is just one of 100 cemeteries that were destroyed in the tornado. So it's very similar to that. It's just going to take a while to, to pick up all this all this debris. The Cemetery Preservation Society plans on meeting with Benton County to get an updated list as the cleanup process continues. Reporting in studio, Kylie Neal, Fox 24 News.